Good evening, uh, this is uh, Rutto Sola from Kerbal.com and today I'm going to show you something really, really cool um, called uh, natural language that you can actually do with Power BI. So natural language is um, basically instead of showing numbers, you are showing text, explaining things with text and numbers. Let me uh, give you an, ex an example. So we're here in Power BI and uh, I'm using Google Analytics data. So in this chart, we are seeing sessions by year month. You see it here, sessions, year month. So recently it, the news came out uh, from the Power BI blog that there is an option to have uh, natural language narratives in Power BI reports and for that uh, you will need a custom visual which is available in this link. I will give you this link later on so you don't have to copy it and it's done by these guys Narrative Science Quill. I know this company I have been using them for I don't know perhaps a year or a little bit less uh, because they are Google partners and they have a service for giving you narratives for your Google Analytics data. I'm going to show you an example. Here, I get the, this email once a week and then once a month. And it basically summarizes uh, what happened in your site, like how many page views, are you growing or not, uh, average time on site, pages per session, if your sessions are increasing or decreasing, it will tell you that, and then it shows you a nice graph, traffic sources, referrals, and so on and so forth. This is a nice uh, report, I, I read it when it comes. They have uh, different plans. When it started, and I started using it, it was completely free. Now they are, of course, trying to monetize their efforts and pay for their R&D. I understand that. I still though use only the free because I have my own reports. Um, but uh, if you pay for them, they will give you additional reports. So it's quite cool. I, I think you should give it a go, especially the free one. Uh, and if you don't have the time to do uh, analytics yourself, then probably the other ones are a good match. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, just want to make that clear. Uh, I will give you also the address if you're interested. So here you can uh, subscribe for their services. You will have to give them access to Google Analytics API and then you're good to go. An email will come uh, once a week, more or less. Uh, but what they have done now, if they have, they have made done a custom visual for Power BI and it's available in this link. Unfortunately, it's not in the Power BI custom visuals gallery. Don't know why. But either way, well, probably I know why, because I've downloaded the extension and you have to give them your work email and your company name and your name and so on and so forth. Probably they're trying to gather uh, quality leads, which is fair enough for the work they've done. So if you give them your email, then you can download the custom visual. And I have done that and I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. It doesn't work as clean as the report I'll see, see you now. I'll show you now. So here again is our sessions by year month. I'm going to copy that. Control C, Control V. And once I have it there, I'm going to click on this is their icon. And then it will tell you, it will ask you, okay, how would you describe your data? Continuous is basically like a line chart. Discrete would represent like bar chart. And percent of whole, it would be a pie chart. We had a continuous chart. So I press on that and I say narrative. Uh, first impression is uh, a lot of text, but if you follow their advice and here on the settings for the custom visual, 
you can change it to a bullet, which makes it a lot more clear. You can start actually reading sessions where 14,000 across all 22 entities, entities I mean months, uh, is supposed to come up here a gear to be able to do some other settings. Unfortunately, it doesn't come up with me, so I cannot, for, for me, so I cannot show you. Um, other options you have is to say, okay, I want more text, hopefully more insights, or I want less text. So it says how much your sessions went up from a specific time period, from, no, from 80 to 1000. Okay, so this from two numbers. I don't know whether you picked that. The largest single increase on the percentage page basis was 110% from 88 to 185 between July and August 2014. And then the highest rise was 307 that occurred from January to February. Okay. So this is one way. I find there is a lot of text not really easy to pick up exactly what the insights are. I mean, if you look at the chart, it's so obvious what's happening, right? It's just growing and growing. Um, I, you cannot really tell here what's going on. So, of course, I'm sure they're working on it. Uh, and maybe if I had that gear, I could make this text a little bit more readable. Download it, give it a try, and see what you think. But there is another way to do this. You can actually do your own narratives, and that is the cool part. I'm going to show you. We have uh, a few measures here. This is uh, the growth dashboard that you might know. That is showing the sessions this year and the previous period and then year over year, month over month. So all these is in here somewhere. So if we say year to yesterday there, and same period last year there, and we say we want with natural language tell our dashboard readers that they have grown this much from last year, then we can actually do that ourselves. So this is text. We write the year growth, for example. And now we write your site has grown by and now we're going to concatenate so what we're going to do is we're going to take year to yesterday sessions minus same period last year so it will give me how much I've grown from last year, exactly the same period. And then we write sessions this year. And voila. Sometimes when, it, you know, when you create um, a measure, it just, ends up always in the first table. You have to select uh, which table you have to, you want the measure to be on first. Uh, I n never do it, I always forget it. But this will go in our sessions bucket, that's where it should be, otherwise I will never find it again. So we put it there, and then we use a card. And look at this.
this is a really, really, really nice way to actually give information to your customers or to your readers, whoever is reading your dashboard. We remove the category label and there you have it. So you could build these kind of sentences just absolutely everywhere. I have, for example, here one with leads and I said the number of leads for the selected period is one. This is done exactly the same way. I don't know if I have others. Uh, Site speed, maybe I have something? No, not either. Users? No. No, that's the only one I have. So, if you're doing dashboards for other people, or even if you're doing them for yourself, uh, I think it's a great way to actually build your own natural language formulas. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video about the natural language uh, with Power BI. If you enjoy it, please uh, like it or comment on it. And uh, if you like our channel, please subscribe. Have a great evening. Bye.